Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the string operation shift. Now, what is shift? Word itself is saying we will shift the contents of the string. So whenever we will shift, either we can shift to right, either we can shift to left. Here we can do the shifting in circular also. So we can do shift in three directions, left, right, and circular. So the purpose of shift is to shift the string to the right, left, or we can say circular. So whatever the number of places you will specify, your string will shift based upon that number of places. Suppose I'm saying five places, so my string will shift by five places. Suppose if I'm saying 10 places, my string will shift by 10 places. So direction, it's, it can be left, it can be right, it can be your circular. Once we will do the practical, you will automatically understand how we are shifting the contents of the string. One of the most important string operation and little bit tricky, only little bit tricky. So we will go for string operation shift. After doing the practical, we will match with the syntax. Suppose firstly, I will declare three variables. LV underscore input one. Suppose I'm saying 10. Length is 10, suppose. Type C, suppose I'm saying value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, never think that it is character. So, how it is accepting number? Character is always alphanumeric. It means it can accept alphabets, it, it can accept numbers also. I will declare one more variable. LV underscore input to type C. Suppose I'm going for same to same value. Suppose I'm going for one more system, very one more, sorry, one more variable, not system variable. I will give some value. So I declared three variables. Now I will apply shift on to first variable. I will apply shift in left. In the second variable, I will apply shift in right. In the third variable, we will apply the shift in circular. Now suppose I will apply shift. Shift is the keyword. The keyword is shift tab. Now we are shifting LV underscore input one. Now we have a keyword by. You want to shift by how many places? Suppose I am writing five places. Now see the important part here. If you will not specify, specify anything, by default, it will shift to left. Your mode is left. If you are specifying, it's okay. If you are not specifying anything, by default, it will shift to left. Suppose if I'm specifying the keyword left, it will go to left. If I'm not specifying also, then it will take to the left only. It will shift the string to the left. Suppose now I'm writing the right. left. We will write left. And now I will write LV underscore input. One. So we are shifting the string by five places and by default, the mode will be left. Now, similar way, I will go for right shift LV underscore input two. Suppose I'm saying by four places. 
here you need to specify in which directions because we are going for right so we have to specify right now i will write the right statement to print right so we can understand fully that's why we are providing the description also now i will go for circular shift lv underscore input 3 suppose i am saying by four places now the keyword is circular now i will go for right statement i will use slash so that we will see the output in new line circular This is LV underscore input three. We'll check the syntax and we will activate. Here, if you want to specify left, you can specify else it will take to the left only. Now, important understanding how it will work. This is your value. This is your variable value. Shift LV underscore input one by five places. And it will by default go for what? Left, left. Just start from the left. This is your left. This is your left. From the left, how many places? Five places. So it will take five. One, two, three, four, five. Five places are there. It will remove these five things. Now rest of the string will shift it to the left. So what will be the output? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just see how it is working from the left. It will take those many places, then shift the rest of the string to the left. Now we'll come on to next one. Shift LV underscore input to by four places, right, right. So it will take four places from the right. It will remove this. Now it will start from the right. It will take four places from the right. Now rest of the string. This is rest of the string. Rest of the string will shift to the right. Rest of the string will shift to the right. Now most important part. Whenever rest of the string will shift to the right. Length is 10. Length is 10. So you will get four leading spaces. Yes, we'll see. We will do that part also. Now we will come to third. LV underscore input three by four places circular, four places circular. So it will take four. It will take four and it will attach this four here. So it will just taking and adding. It's a circular. It is circular. So from the left, it will take those many places and attach at the last. So it's a circle. It's a circle is going on. We will see in that debugging mode so that it will make more more sense to you. Directions are very important in this case. I'm putting a breakpoint. I'm running the program. This is our LV underscore input one. This is the value. We are shifting by five places in left, left. So from the left, it will take these five places. It will take these five places. Now, rest of the string will shift. Rest of the string will shift to the left. Now, if I will see, you can see what is the result. You can see we have five, six, seven, eight, right? Rest of the string shifted to the left. Yes, at the last, we will have a five blank spaces because when this string shifted, we have the five blank spaces at the last. That is called as your trailing space. Yes. Now, we will move next. LV underscore input to by four places right. So it will take four places from the right. It will take four places from the right. Okay. And rest of the string will shift to the right. 
these six places whenever will shift to the right it means we have four blank spaces before that because total length is 10 you are shifting the string then first four will be blank spaces because these six places will shift to the right so four blank spaces will remain just see and you can see we have four blank spaces here you are not able to see because it is at the last this is your trailing space this is your leading space now we will come on to third part we have lv underscore input three okay i'll just uh, i put f6 by mistake i will make it original one and we will see the output again how it is working So this is our LV underscore input three. Now we are shifting by four places circular. So these four places, these four places it will take and it will attach to the last. So it is a circle, it is a circle. Now you can see what is the output. This is the output. Now if I run, this is, you can see left, right, circular. Now, you all know if you want to remove leading space, if you want to remove trailing space, yes, how you can remove through condense. Suppose if I am applying condense, condense, LV underscore input two. So your all leading space will remove. Now you can see all leading space removed so this is the way how we can apply the operation 